Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach, and you know I love cookies. Cookies are my thing. And I read a new cookbook last night, cover to cover, and picked out a couple re re recipes we're starting with. One of them is the ambrosia cookies, they called these. And frankly, I would call these everything cookies because they have so many delicious things. And you know, I love a cookie with the more things in it, the better. And so I just had to try these. So I figured as long as I was trying them, let's try them together. So in the mixer here, I have two sticks of butter that are softened that I just started to whip up there. I'm gonna add one cup of white sugar and I'm gonna add one cup of brown sugar that, look at my pretty little mound there. One cup of brown, get that in there. And then we're gonna turn this baby on, start creaming up our sh sugars. Oh, yum. So in these, I don't know if you can hear me, my brown sugar's getting a little crazy. I prepped my mise en place earlier to today, so it's a little, my brown sugar got a little dry, but it's getting whipped up in there. There we go. Getting the chunks out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just soften them. So in these, we have here one cup of chopped dates and we have one cup of golden raisins, one cup of toasted pecans that I just lightly to uh, toasted on the cooktop and chopped up, one cup of coconut, oh my gosh, yeah, and then we're gonna do some orange rind, lemon rind, and flour, and some oats. So it just is gonna be delicious with all these things in it. So many delicious holiday flavors here. So I'm gonna scrape this down and then we will get started with our eggs, get some eggs going in there. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be so good. Cause you know I'm reading the recipe, I'm like, look at all these yummy things in here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with eggs. First egg going in, one, and I'm gonna mix that. Get that one going in. Our second one in here, crack it on the countertop. Hopefully not get any shells in our cookie dough. And while that's going here, I'm gonna me measure our dry ingredients into our flour. I have two cups of flour here, all purpose. And so I'm going to, ooh, whoops, drop the measuring spoons, hold on. There we go, but before I do the liquid, I'm gonna do the dry. So we have here two teaspoons of baking powder. So baking powder, two teaspoons. One, two. I actually just bought new baking powder because my baking powder was expired, so don't want that. As we head into the holidays, half a teaspoon of soda. So I got half a teaspoon of soda into our flour. And then I've got some salt. It is half a teaspoon of salt. There we go, half a teaspoon of salt. And we've got our eggs mixed in there. What in the world would we do without KitchenAid? <laughs> Makes everything so much quicker. So to this, I'm going to add uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So now you get my teaspoon wet here. One of vanilla. And then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of orange extract and half a teaspoon of almond extract. I mean, yum. It's going to have so many yummy fla flavors. So half a teaspoon of almond. And you know, almond extract goes a long way. So not going to spill that one. And then a half a teaspoon here of orange extract. Look how cute the top of that is. Just has a little squirt thing on the top. Haven't seen that be be before. Again, don't want to spill the extract here. So there's a half a teaspoon of orange going in. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of orange zest and a teaspoon of lemon zest. So I thought we'd just do that together here, right over the bowl. I'll do it on this side and do it quick because fresh zest gives so much flavor always, no matter what you're using it in. Most things, no matter what it is, if I'm using lemon or orange, you always wanna use the zest. So there we go. That is a heaping teaspoon. 
but I don't mind. Orange zest, delicious. Lemon, of course, right off my tree. What? This side. The, this side? Oh, the, this side? Okay. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do a couple more scrapes of our lemon zest there. And you don't want to get the white part, you just want the zest. Oh, it's gonna be delish. One more. Scrape off my zester. I love this thing, magic. Okay, let me mix that in. Our extracts and our zest. Oh, smells so good. Yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, so to that, I'm gonna add our flour, salt, baking soda, etc. I'm gonna add it in a couple additions here so I don't get get it everywhere. But let's do about half, and then I'll mix that in. Woo! Our flour cloud. Get that mixed in, and then we'll do the other half. Oh, these already smell so good. I knew these smell delicious, and they have no chocolate. So it's, you know, hard usually to find a yummy cookie that doesn't have any chocolate, and this is the one. So that is awesome for those, because I do have a couple of friends and a son that don't like chocolate. I know, crazy, huh? And then in here I've got the oats, so we're gonna put the oats in here and mix those in. And then all our yumminess is going in here. Coconut, dates, toasted pecans, and golden raisins. Yummy! These are gonna be so good. Okay, I'm just gonna scrape this down real quick because I'm not gonna, I don't wanna mix it much once I get, I don't wanna break up our fruit and nuts here too much. So I'm gonna put in our one cup of coconut, one cup golden raisins. What? One cup of golden raisins Welcome to the director here. One cup of toasted pecans chopped and one cup of pitted dates chopped. Oh, yum. Smells killer. And get that all mixed in. And we have ambrosia slash everything cookie dough. And I'm gonna bake a couple of these and you guys can see how delicious they look too. Oh my gosh, dough smells killer. So let me show you what our yummy dough looks like with all the good things in there. Delish, huh? I wish you could smell it, it smells delicious. So stay tuned and I will show you one cooked. As always, thanks for watching and follow me for lots of holiday ideas, side dishes and desserts and don't forget to follow.